Um, in this short sequence, we're going to review and go over some standing poses that are really energizing. So if you're feeling like you're lagging behind or your energy is low, try these standing poses as long as you feel good uh, to help boost your energy. This is part three of the four part yoga series. So if you've done the warm up practice and the uh, midday break practice, you would tack this on after the midday break to complete your practice and then there will be one more more restorative practice after this one. So let's start in downward facing dog. Lift your hips high, reach down through your heels, find a nice alignment in your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Step your right foot forward in between your hands. Lower your back foot down to the ground, so pivot your foot so you have a nice engagement between the knife edge of your back foot and the mat. Warrior two is first, press down into your right foot, stack your shoulders over your hips. My back's going to be to you for the first one, but then I'll be facing you for the next round. Reach your arms out by your side, gaze over your right fingertips. Your shoulders are stacked right over your hips, your knee is stacked right over the center of your foot here. Avoid the knee collapsing in. You might have to really engage the leg to keep it moving out. Lunge as low as you can here, but keep your knee stacked right on top of your ankle. I'm okay if it's back here, but it's not okay if it moves forward of your ankle. That can be damaging to your knee joint. Take a deep breath in here. Stay three to five breaths in each pose in your standing poses. Exhale, extend inside angle. Reach forward with your right fingertips. Rest your forearm on your thigh. And lift your left arm up overhead. Gaze up over your top fingertips if that's comfortable on your neck. Gaze straight forward or lower your shoulder down towards your ear. Now your front leg is exactly the same as it was in Warrior Two. Keep pressing your knee to the outside edge of your right foot. And this time really press down into the knife edge. That's the pinky toe side of your back foot. You'll get a really nice stretch through the left side of your body here. If you do rest your forearm on your thigh, press into your forearm to keep length through the right side of your body and feel your right side engage. Inhale, reverse warrior, lift up and back. Stay low in your lunge. You'll notice that my front leg, my right leg, didn't really move at all. I just move the torso to lean slightly back and then rest your left hand on your left leg. It's just a light rest. I'm not really putting any weight into my hand. Keep your shoulders in the same plane as your hips and reach up through your right fingertips. Lots of different gaze options depending on how your neck feels and keep pulling your knee to the outside edge of your right foot. Take another deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, rise back up to your warrior two. Straighten your right leg now. Keep a micro bend in your knee to avoid locking the knee out. Triangle pose, reach forward with your right fingertips. When you can't reach any further, drop your hand down to rest on your leg. Just avoid putting any pressure onto your knee. So rest your hand on your shin or your thigh. Draw your tailbone down towards your ankle behind you and reach your top fingertips up overhead. Similar to extended side angle, we're reaching forward, but now your front leg is straight. You'll get a nice long stretch through the side of your body on the left side and keep as much of a stretch on the right side of your body as you can. Maybe gaze up over your top fingertips. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out, reach your heart forward and up towards the ceiling to lengthen through your spine. Take another big breath in and exhale, release your hand down towards the ground. Step your right foot back to downward facing dog for a moment. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. We'll do the other side. Step your left foot forward in between your hands. If you can't get your foot all the way up, then I highly encourage you to use your arm and manually step it all the way forward in between your hands. This will help you with your leg alignment as you move into the standing poses. Curl your back toes down, rise up, stack your hips over your shoulders, reach your arms out to the side. Now you'll notice that I moved my front foot just a little bit so that my heel bisects the arch of my back foot. That's about the alignment that I want in these standing poses. Important to pull your left knee to the outside edge of your left foot. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward, rest your forearm on your front thigh, take your back arm up overhead. 
Remember to stay low in your lunge. You've got those same warrior two legs. Press firmly into the knife edge of your back leg. Either gaze up over your top fingertips or down, whatever's most comfortable for your neck, and press into your forearm to lift your body up off of your thigh. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, reverse warrior, lift up and back. Keep a little to no weight in your back hands. Your shoulders stay in the same plane as your hips. Sometimes it's easy to pull the shoulder forward or back. Just center them right over the hips. That will give you the most stretch through your side body. Remember about your left knee. Pull it to the outside edge of your foot and sink low into your lunge. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, rise back up to warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Keep a micro bend in your knee to avoid locking the knee out. Triangle pose, reach forward through your left fingertips. Really challenge yourself here to reach as far forward as you can. When you can't reach any further, drop the hand straight down, lift your top arm up. Avoid putting any direct pressure on the knee. Now, if you can reach your hands closer to the ground, that's okay, but it doesn't really matter. That's not the point of the pose. I want you to keep length in both sides of your body here. I can reach both of my arms up overhead and keep the length in both the left and right side of my body. This is huge core work. So I don't expect you to do that today. You don't have to, but as long as you can keep this length in the left side of your body in your triangle pose, the side of the body that's facing towards the forward leg, that will help you develop the strength over time so that you easily can lift both arms up overhead. Take another deep breath in here, deep breath out. One more big breath in for me. Then drop your hands down towards the ground. Frame your left foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in in your downward facing dog. Exhale, lower your knees to the mat. Sit your hips down towards your heels. And take three deep breaths for me. So these standing poses all help you build so much strength in your body and Hopefully you feel a little bit more energized than when you started, certainly more strong. If you're going to continue on with the rest of the practice, we have one more part, a little bit more restorative stretching poses, or you can go right back into your day and hopefully feel a little bit more wide awake and energized. Namaste.